Brent, according to the state, there are around 168,000 veterans across Connecticut, more than 31,000 of them facing housing issues. That's about 19 percent of the state's veterans. And the city says this new federal funding will help some of these residents get a roof over their heads. I'm fortunate, but I have many friends who are struggling every day. Housing is key. Thursday, the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development awarded more than $25 million nationwide for public housing assistance, nearly 300,000 of that coming here to Hartford to fund 25 housing vouchers for veterans. These vouchers can change lives for our veterans. There is not a veteran anywhere in this country who should be without a home or be without the support they need. These vouchers fund permanent housing as well as year round services for those experiencing homelessness and veterans who received this support in the past say it helped make them who they are today. It was very instrumental in where I am at in life today. Within two years, I was able to become a homeowner. Within two years, I was able to begin working with other veterans who are returning home and may have difficulty finding employment. The city already manages 50 of these Veterans Affairs supportive housing vouchers. And Mayor Bronin says Hartford's record of getting vouchers into the hands of those who need them helped the city secure this latest funding. We want to do everything we can to make sure that everybody who's served our country gets the support that they deserve in our community. And that starts with helping get into stable, safe housing and get the support that they need. And federal housing officials tell me this money will be available immediately, adding as soon as they connect with a veteran in need, they will have a voucher waiting for them. Brent, Sarah.